What's going on my boys? Today we got a really cool video because we got a Gladiator Beast deck that has been made with the new skill, or I don't know if this is a new skill, but it's new to me at least. Uh, Domination of the Gladiator Beast is really good and it has all types of combos, but I really want to tell you this. I have been MIA for a little while. I have been working hard on my book with my team and we are actually ready for launch and the book should be dropping here April 15th next month. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys that shout out, let you guys know to check that out uh, when it comes. It's gonna be really awesome. I've been working really hard on it with my team and I have really made something I think that's gonna be really helpful to the Yu-Gi-Oh community overall. So, um, definitely when it comes out we're gonna have a lot of content around it and that's probably gonna be my primary focus on the channel is creating more content to bring people to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! creating more content that's understandable for folks at the uh, beginning and intermediate levels going into that competitive level um, I want to make sure that a lot of folks are very competent and strong in the basics so that they can actually have an opportunity to fall in love with the game so that's my mission um here in my journey as a career person here on youtube or whatever you want to call this but um or my business venture but i'm just saying at the end of the day that's the mission the mission is to bring more people to the game and if the mission is to bring more people to the game i'm tailoring my content around that so you can expect to see more content focused around that as the book is released i am working on that content now um so that we don't get bogged down when the time comes um in the future so i'm not gonna be streaming as much but i will be uploading from time to time but definitely my boys take a look at this video and enjoy it also the deck list is at the end of the video <laughs> you open gladiator beast in hand you would probably be straight. <laughs> okay, this is this is the why I had to change it. All right, but this is good though. It's funny that it makes you show a card because <laughs> if you didn't, that'd be pretty busted. Because <laughs> uh, if I had to show that, you'd be like, oh. Well, I better not attack. And I'm like, mm, should you? I don't know, I might. All right, so here is the thing. We don't have, oh, it's definitely gonna be some sort of effect bullshit. Um, so let's special summon our guy from the deck. And then we're also going to um, put our boy on the field. And we're gonna go right into the Domitianus into the Domitianus. Or I guess you could go into Batman too. Cause it's like, okay, you go into Batman, you, you can't die by battle. You can't be targeted. You should survive. You go into uh, Domitianus, got monster negation and destruction. And if you go into Herc, you got multiple spell trap negations and destructions. All can't be targeted unless you're trying to beat it up. And I got the hand trap if you're trying to beat me up. And this deck does create fodder for rejection with this. So that's cool too. Send a level four from your hand to the graveyard and add a Shirinui from your deck to the hand. Ugh. Then he sends Shirinui Solitaire. Okay, to add. Okay, well, you're not going to get a pop with that. So that's fine. Because it says target a face up. So I'm okay. Mm-hmm. All right, so this is where it's interesting, right? Because I know he has this in here. And it's like, what do I stop, I guess? Because this has already been in here. I guess I would have to stop this, right? So you can target monsters, special summon one. 
Yeah, I would have to stop that because he can do like put whatever he want down there, but I'll just stop that. <laughs> and if he happens to summon something that's like crazy, then maybe I'll have to kill it. But I doubt it. Unless he's like, you know, Black Rose Dragon. And I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll just be like, oh. But I don't think they could do that, though. Okay, this card. Uh, special summon once per turn. What is he doing? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah. He's going to do the uh, thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, you still got the graveyard effect, so you kind of got free reign to do what you want. And he didn't use that one pop yet, so so he's got to, like, pop this, and then he can summon that guy if, if he gets that guy in there. And that's the draw. Right? It's a draw or something like that. Yeah, draw and discard. So my targeting effect is gone. That sucks. This is this is what I'm waiting on. Ah yes, that's what I was waiting on. Daddy was waiting on that activation. Stay dead. Stay your ass dead. Stay your ass dead. Alright. Now let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh! That oh, hmm. This duel could be done in just one move, but do I have the courage to strike? Yes. I summon a monster, and now I battle. Go, Domitianus! From my hand. Nani? How dare you? That won't be enough to stop me. My monster has already been summoned. Now, attack directly, my gladiator beast. <laughs> Get that shit out of here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. He was not expecting to go out like that. It kind of makes me feel like I should be running more than one rejection again. I get that feeling. Look at this deck. Ooh, we made the right call on that. That was the that was the correct call right there. That was the correct call. That was excellent. This is like literally the true power of the deck right here. This is a this is this is like the build. I like this because basically you get a towers on the first turn. Turn one Domitianus. Turn one Herc. Turn one um, anybody you want actually. It's pretty cool. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So can't be targeted is great. And then we got two effect negates, so let's do it. Let's get a plus one. Let's flip it over. So on the 1900 beat stick, summon Andale on the Andale mat with the Andale sleeves. Come on, man. You about to get rejected. You about to get rejected. Uh, the biggest monster in GX possible. Super pop. Oh, no. Oh.
This is why you don't have any friends, kid. You're running super probably with D spell. This is why you don't have any fucking friends and nobody likes you. No one's coming to your birthday party. A pox on thee. I can't stand for this madness. This is bullshit. Super Polly <laughs> You ain't got 1800. Come on. Oh, you are a criminal. You are a criminal. I'm a criminal. And mama, I'm a criminal. Criminal. <laughs> Mama, I'm a criminal. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Mama, I'm a criminal. Criminal. <laughs> Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Get out of here. Well, you got some kind of honest or something? Jim Merchant? <laughs> oh my god. I kind of feel like maybe I could have I could have sent him back for something, but nah, I need something big. Oh, actually, I should have sent him back something. I would have got two monsters on board. Fusion deployment? No, that's that money card. Also, it's pretty good. No! You bail! What are you doing to you, Bell? <laughs> Boy, you bet not move. <laughs> you moved! Fool! <laughs> I told you not to move, brother. <laughs> I told you not to move. Stay dead! <laughs> They dead. I'm a criminal, criminal. I'm a criminal, criminal, criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. Come on. Give me them life points. Huh? Kite roid? Kite roid? But why? But surely he doesn't have any more moves. He used a skill and it's turn seven for God's sakes. Turn six for God's sakes. No way! And he used super poly? It's no way he's got moves. There's no way. Oh, he can still summon Neos for free. He's a criminal. Oh my God. Oh! Am I about to be scammed? Am I being scammed? Wait. How did he gain all those life points? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wait. Are you some kind of mad beast? What are you doing? I think he goofed that oh. I think he goofed. Oh, attack it. All right, now we're sending him back for a card. gonna cook you next time brother I'm not gonna let you escape 
We're going to get you, sir. To defend. All right, come on. You and your U-Bell mysteries. This guy even goofed. He even he even had he even he's had a good opportunity to win a couple times and lost. So this should be maddening for him. And I am not, you know, I, I'm willing to give it to him. You know, I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to punish him a little. What? Summon Neos for free? Eternal Bond? What? How many times can you? Outside the deck? Outside the deck? You gotta get, you gotta put rejection in the deck. You get that from outside? You can't touch me. Ah! I'm, mm, the rope. Mama, I'm a, mama, I'm a criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. 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 Mama, I'm a criminal. I'm gonna beat you up now. Don't move, okay? Don't make any sudden movements. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's going to keep him from dying from uh, being destroyed by a card effect. So I better do this. We better go right to the anus. Take it right to the anus. Attack my beast. Reject him. Reject his life points. Your life points has been rejected, meaning you will be destroyed here and in battle. Be gone. Noni. You won't be able to defeat me. None of the monsters in your entire dueling deck is strong enough to defeat Gladiator Beats Domitianus. I'm in the Anus. I can't be stopped. <coughs> it's the ultimate battle of contact fusion. Somebody's trying to scam. He's played Miracle Contact so many times in this game. That's ridiculous. I can't believe Konami gave him a skill like that. Miracle Contact, dog. 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 Okay. Okay. He's like, wait a minute. Why did my points add up? Because you don't know how to fuse your dumb ass. Because you about to lose with your dumb ass. Because you about to get the brakes beat off your dumb ass. That's what happened. <laughs> That's what happened, my boy. You failed to read. Dutto. And now I'm going to win. Nah, I'd win. Attack my monster. Wipe it out. Come on. Even more gladiator beasts to destroy you. Ooh. Say night, night. Die. Nani? Well, 
I bet I better start reading. <laughs> For I get read a lullaby of destruction, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> For I get, <laughs> For I get my rights read. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I better start reading. <laughs> Shit. Uh ooh. Ooh. That thing can't die by card effects. That's totally fine. You still stop that effect. How many of these do we got left? <laughs> Boy, it ain't no way. Who is this man? If the turn player successfully conducts their third summon in it's the end phase. Boy, I ain't never seen it. Boy, I know. Oh, so you're attacking, huh? So what does this thing do again? At the end of the damage step, there's this card battle and flick damage to the opponent. Uh, Eagle to monsters attack and defense. Uh, uh, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Okay. So come attack into me. Take your five and stay dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. La, 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 la. <laughs> Excellent. All right, my boys, it all started here. I was in the Sherry LeBlanc event, which by the way, this event is kind of spicy. I got that. Okay, anyway. So listen, I was in the Sherry LeBlanc event and i was just getting all the cards i realized that they have a chat gpt knight of the shield bearer and then they also have like a drawn by a, a youtube artist <laughs> a knight of the shield bearer but the one that's drawn by the youtube artist has a second effect and i think that's that's pretty weird but you know that's neither here nor there so we are basically waiting to get um the other uh knight spear holder so that this card can be a tuner but we'll probably never get that in dual links who knows but as i was collecting these prizes i come out and i recognize that i got a new skill and this skill is a skill that you've never heard of that i didn't hear of until today and it's called domain of the gladiator beast it's some sort of unlock special unlock skill that i did not know that you could get per se um and now it's here this card is crazy so basically show a gladiator beast get rejection from your deck added to your hand but unlike those other skills that are really busted that lets you bring stuff from outside of the deck this makes you bring bring it from in your deck so you gotta play a garnet so that you can use the skill which i don't like but whatever but as long as you got eight or more gladiator beasts in the deck and they don't restrict you to only gladiator beasts which is great it's fine. You can play Gladiator Beast Rejection and go absolutely bananas. So this is the deck I built with it. Gladiator Beast Rejection says when you special summon a monster from the deck, then you can go ahead and um, special summon another one from the deck. So basically, it enables your two card contact fusion plays like Gazars. So you want to go ahead and use cards like Unexpected Die, Onslaught out of Fire Kings in combination with Rejection. And basically, you only have to play one. And because of that, you're going to be able to consistently summon Gladiator Beast Gazarus. And because you're consistently able to summon Gazarus, you're always going to have a good um, uh, follow-up play. And then you also have a good play, you know, going into your uh, first turn. Because on your first turn, you can summon three towers. You can summon Gladiator Beast Domitianus. You can summon uh, Nerokius, Or you can summon... Heraclinos and basically negate your opponent's spells, no targeting. Can't target this monster, can't be killed by battle. And then this card says control the battle phase, and also it can um, negate and destroy an opponent's monster. So it's really good. So you open up with any of these towers with Gladiator Beast Rejection and basically pass your turn. Now, if you, depending on the opponent, you really gotta know your opponent's deck. Because based on your opponent's deck, you can make a lot of assumptions. But primarily, you got to determine, is your opponent's main mode of play going into a spell card or is it going into a monster effect? And if you know what that is, you can set that up. 
I'm running two Gladiator Beast War Chariot, but I feel like you don't have to. I'm running it just because if I open with Herc, I can set two War Chariot, and then I got spells and traps covered, plus monster effects. So, you know, I like it like that. But um, also, I only run two Onslaught of the Fire Kings because you can't use it on your first turn, and it does brick. So that's it for the deck profile, my boys. I'm going to be making a lot different content as we're going forward here the book revival of the duelist is dropping uh april 15th you guys should definitely pick up a copy of that book it's so amazing and i've been working so hard with my team to get this done it's so crazy to even say i have a team but i've been working so hard with my team to get this done and it's coming through it's in the final midnight hours but it's coming through and it's all coming together thank thank god thank goodness thank thank everybody thank y'all for y'all support but um, check the book out, my boy, uh, when it comes out April 15th. I've been working on that primarily and, and more content for that. And as I'm the book comes out, I'm going to be making more content to help people learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh!, help people bring people into the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, help teach people, you know, how to excel and find themselves in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, because I've decided that that's going to be my mission here on YouTube. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it as always. And let's reign in the domain of the gladiator beasts.